Hey, hon. How are you feeling? I understand. I'm so sorry. I know. But hey, you're here to get better, right? I'm Dr. Tay. I am on call today to do intakes. Okay? So, because you were brought into the ER in a serious emergency. You didn't have time to do an intake, all the paperwork. So that's what I'm here for. One, to make sure you're all right. And two, to get you into the system and see where to go from here. Okay? I know it's going to be a long road ahead, but... You got this, and this was the first step coming in, all right? So let's go ahead and get started with uh, your name and date of birth. And what was the date of birth again? I'm sorry. Okay. And do you know who your primary care physician is? What city is that in? Okay. Do you give permission for ongoing regular updates? to be provided to your primary care physician, as in, would you like it if your primary care physician got all of the information from your visit here? Yes, that is a very good idea, because then everybody is on the same page. Do you have a therapist? Okay. Well, we will get one for you, okay? And do you have any problems right now? And besides, yes, your reason for coming in. Okay. Asthma. Okay. Have you had any surgeries in the past? Okay. What year was that? Very good. What are your treatment goals? What are you seeking to achieve by being in here and moving forward? Okay. Uh, trying to figure out how to word that. Okay. Well, so let's let's think of a different way we could say that because unfortunately we can't get rid of what's going on. We can only manage it. So how about we say manage symptoms better. Okay. Would you be interested in a nutritionist as well? Yes, it's... It, <laughs> A lot of people don't understand and don't know that what you put in your body does, in fact, impact you, mm -hmm. positively or negatively, depending on what you are eating, drinking, consuming. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so eating healthy is a huge key in any illness, honestly, from physical to mental a hundred percent. So we'll have a nutritionist maybe come in or have you see a nutritionist, okay? All right, so I want you to tell me yes or no to these symptoms, okay? Depressed mood, unable to enjoy activities, 
sleep pattern disturbances? And can you elaborate on the sleep pattern disturbances? Are you able to fall asleep at night? No. Insomnia. Okay. Once you are asleep, do you stay asleep? No. Wakes up a lot. Okay. Loss of interest. Concentration slash forgetfulness. What about your change in appetite? Yeah. Okay. Elaborate a little bit on that. Fluctuates? Either too much or too little? What about excessive guilt? Fatigue. Decreased libido. Racing thoughts? Yeah. Impulsivity. Increased risk behavior? Increased libido, 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 libido. Decreased need for sleep. Okay, so need sleep, can't get it. Okay, excessive energy, increased irritability, crying spells where you cry for hours and hours. There's really no reason. Excessive worry. Anxiety attacks. What about avoidance? Hallucinations? Suspiciousness. Okay, is there any that are not on here that you would like to add? That would go under suspiciousness, but I'll add it paranoid. And what exactly are you paranoid about? I'm very sorry to hear that. All right. Okay. To finish filling this out, I'm going to need... Let's see. What is your mailing address? Okay, and your city and state. All right, and main phone number. Do you know your insurance? Okay, you wouldn't happen to know the number, would you? Yeah, we do have your stuff in a bag for you uh, before you leave. Yeah, we'll just get it then, okay? All right. And your emergency contact? Phone number? And the relationship with this person? That's really good that you have support like that. This next section is going to be about your mental health intake, okay? It is an intake assessment. All right. That was in my face. <laughs> All right. What kind of services are you seeking? Um, when I say it, you can tell me yes or no, okay? Individual counseling? Medication evaluation slash treatment? Couples counseling, medical social work, group counseling, brief problem solving, required letter documentation, alcohol drug assessment. Okay. Okay, so I would like for you to describe briefly 
the reason you are here today. Okay. I totally understand. You are completely valid. Absolutely. Hopefully, we'll get you all fixed up. Okay? All right, anything else? Okay. As you are aware, right now you are in the ER, but you are eventually going to be transferred into one of our medical services, okay? It's just two floors up. Um, what they offer there is medication and treatment for mental illnesses such as bipolar disorder, borderline personality disorder, ADHD, schizophrenia, and other minor things such as major depressive disorder, anxiety. Yep. Yeah, and because we don't have a diagnosis for you, you will be evaluated here and when you get upstairs, okay? They also look at things such as eating disorders, long-term therapy, and legal assessments. So, they are able to provide legal assessments with the exception of chemical health assessments, so they can't just give you medicine just to test it out, okay? It is going to be a psychiatric hospital, and before you go there, we need to know if you have ever been to a psychiatric hospital before. No? Okay. And what condition would you like to mostly focus on? Okay. Because with some of your symptoms, they could go together or they could be very separate. So going into it, we want to focus on what it is that is impacting your life the most. Does that make sense? Okay. If you are on any medications, will you please tell me what they are? Yeah. Just ibuprofen and Tylenol. Very good. Okay. Mental health professional appointment. Okay. Some of this doesn't apply, so I'm just checking it off. Would you like to provide an email address? That's okay. And what is your major of study? Like, what, what are you studying currently? In school, or were you studying? That's awesome. All right. I know. Lots of forms to fill out. And some of them are pretty repetitive, but they just want to make sure that everything lines up. And this is what we are focusing on. So again, in a few words, can you explain to me the main problem for which are you are hoping to get help for? Very good. And when did this start? Okay. 
Has your appetite, weight, or eating pattern changed since this problem started? So, because you had said um, previously that your eating patterns are, you know, off and on, did it start when these symptoms started or when the problem occurred? Yes. Okay. And your sleep, same thing? can't recall. No, that's okay. So your sleep pattern has been way before. Okay. That's okay. Has your energy or interest in your usual activity changed since the problem started? Yes. Okay. Has not seen for how long. So do we want to say five years altogether? Okay. now some more personal information. How many times have you been married? How many children do you have? How many times have you been pregnant? Who lives with you? Okay. Is this person a good support? Do you feel safe in your environment? That is basically what I'm saying. So the person you live with has nothing to do with why you are here today. Okay, good. How many years of education have you completed? And your highest level of education is? Okay. Are you employed? When was the last time you were employed? And your race, please. And you are male or female? Hey, you have to be really careful these days asking that, you know? Just want to make sure I got it right. Okay. Okay. Now here comes the fun part where you get to tell me what happened. Take your time. We are in no rush. Yep. I'm going to make some notes. That way we have it here today. And then when you get out, we can reevaluate where you are and see where you stand. Okay. All right. And is it okay if I interrupt you if I have questions? Okay, thank you. Okay, keep going. Okay, real quick, do you remember the line of events that occurred before you had this feeling? Like, is there anything that happened that you can remember before your mind went here? It's okay. Take your time. That is very important. I know this is such a terrible question, but were you in a relationship? I know we asked if you were married, but were you in a relationship? Okay. When was the breakup? And when was the last time you guys spoke? Were you living together? Okay. 
Sorry, go ahead. Alright, and is that a thought you would like to challenge in treatment? Yes, okay. There are several different types of treatments that we have that we've gone over, such as like medications, but then they do like group therapies and individual therapies. One of the main suggestions I have is uh, when you go up there, let them know that you really want to look into CBT, which is cognitive behavioral therapy, as well as DBT, which is dialectical behavioral therapy. CBT more focuses on up here, your thoughts and um, your mind and how to process information and change the way that you view and think and do things where DBT, you learn coping skills, ways to manage uh, whatever's going on as well as how to regulate your emotions correctly and how to communicate accordingly and appropriately. Both are key components to, yes, healing, getting better, learning to manage and grow and honestly get to a point where you almost forget that you have something because you do such a great job at coping and managing. Yeah. It is quite amazing. I know this because I actually have borderline personality disorder. Yeah, and um, I did. I ended up having to do intensive outpatient program. I have been to three mental hospitals. Mm -hmm. And I think the last time I was in the hospital for any such thing was 2016. Yeah, I did. I did try to end it all, but I survived. And I decided that insanity was doing the same thing over and over and over again and expecting different results, right? So I took it upon myself to get off all medications and which I do not advise. I'm just telling you my story to make you feel like you're not alone, okay? So I got off all medications and I started researching how to be healthy and stable off medications. Um, side note, I was misdiagnosed. I was actually diagnosed with bipolar disorder at 14 and I was on medications for years and years and years. And I was like, oh, this is insane. I got to change something. So that's when I was like, I need to get off the medications and start learning ways to be healthy and stable off of them. And then I started going to group therapy, started doing DBT, started seeing a therapist. Um, and then I decided to go to school and get my degree, my bachelor degree in psychology. Yep. And now I'm doing this. I, yeah, I will say that I do still have a therapist I see every week, and it's amazing. I'm working through trauma therapy right now, and I still need refreshers here and there, but what's awesome is most of the time, I forget I even have it because I worked so hard for so many years to get to where I'm at. So it may seem like a long, long road ahead, but let me tell you, it is worth it. And it's amazing because I have a few sayings. You can truly do anything if you believe in yourself. Those that want to get better do. Um, one of my favorites was I'm going to stop trying to die and start trying to live, which I have done and I'm so happy about. And it's not a big deal unless we make it a big deal. That one I teach to my kids. <laughs> but yes, I even though it seems really hard right now, and it is going to be hard, it is still very hard for me sometimes to take a step back, 
back and reevaluate situations and respond accordingly because that's something that everyone needs to work on a little bit, right? Is responding instead of reacting. So yeah. No, I totally get it. <laughs> it is kind of intimidating when a doctor comes in and is like, I'm going to evaluate you and send you on your way. I wanted you to know that I was once where you are, which says anything is possible if you believe in yourself, okay? So yes, I do want to challenge those thoughts. Work with... Okay. Oh, no. You're welcome. Absolutely. All right. As you were... Um, you were talking, you did end up having a breakup, and, and last time you spoke, you weren't living together. Okay. Yep. And then, the thoughts of, yeah, that's where we left off. Alright. Yeah. Okay, and did, okay, called in, okay, thank you so much for telling me all of that, that will help out a lot, alright, well, I think that is all I needed, Let me just double check everything, okay? Make sure I didn't miss anything. Tell me forget when you get up there, make sure to provide your insurance information, okay? I know that we take your insurance because you know the name. We just need your, your ID number, okay? Okay, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take these up front, and they will be brought upstairs, and you go ahead and get dressed, and somebody's going to be in shortly to go ahead and take you upstairs, okay? It was lovely to meet you. I wish you nothing but the best, okay? Just don't forget, believe in yourself. I want you to repeat daily. I got this, and I can do anything I set my mind to if I believe in myself, okay? All right, you take care, sweetheart, okay? All right, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.